Here we have a lightweight concrete mix design that we're going to be testing. Three parts vermiculite to one part cement. The mix was a wet mix as opposed to a drier mix, so it should have a tighter consolidation. Will be very interesting to see how much weight this is able to bear before it breaks. <laughs> There's no reinforcement in this. This is just vermiculite and cement and water, and that's it, nothing else. And we're spanning 28 inches across here with a thickness of one inch with our test block, which is totally impractical. You wouldn't use that for anything, as far as I could tell, because it would be expected to break. It's too weak of a, con even the full strength concrete control group that we used, it held 94 pounds, which is a lot. But I mean, ultimately, of course it's going to break because there's no steel reinforcement in it whatsoever. And that's the same with this vermiculite test block here. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to identify properties of lightweight concrete mixes that can make something stronger or something that accidentally makes things weaker. And hopefully that you're learning as much as I am. I'm definitely learning throughout this process here. Uh, some of the assumptions that I had made about how this is going to work, how much weight things are going to bear, haven't exactly been as accurate as I thought. And I'm surprised by that. So let's keep going with this and see what else we can learn. So let's start by weighing up our test block for the day here. Feels pretty heavy for, you know, lightweight. 12.5 pounds. 12.5 pounds. So it is a little heavy. That high um, ratio of cement is makes this a lot heavier than a, a different test block where I had six parts vermiculite to one part cement. That was significantly lighter. I don't remember exactly the number, but I remember it was lighter. Let's test this one again just to make sure we're getting an accurate reading. Yeah, 12 and a half. So how much weight is this going to take? Well, I don't know. Let's, let's make a guess here. Um, 12, 24, 36 pounds would give it a strength to weight ratio of three. Uh, I think it should take that. I should, th I should think that it would take 30 to 40 pounds based on some other tests that I've done with that, like six parts vermiculite to one part cement. I would expect this to be stronger because of the higher ratio of cement, but it is a wet mix versus a dry mix. So that will be interesting to see if it being wet has compromised the strength versus that drier mix. I, I mean, I'm excited. I don't know if you're as excited as I am, but let's get started here. I have a center point, so at least I can try to evenly distribute the weight. Okay, let's get started here. And I will do what I can with this sand to place it as opposed to letting it fall, so as not to shock the, uh, the test, test block here. Alrighty. It took way more than I thought that was going to take. That's like probably like this much further than I thought I was going to have to go before that broke. I don't know. Let's see. It could be, could it be 40 pounds? I think it could be 40 pounds. All right, let's weigh this up and see if we've got 40 pounds. Oh, geez. Yeah, totally. I mean, totally light. I could have moved it if I wanted. I wanted my body to make those noises. 
ね。Your time already. 41, 41.1. And some math happens over in that area. Three point, a strength to weight ratio of 3.29. Honestly, is more than I was expecting. Very similar to our six to one mix, which is also interesting to me because I would have thought this would have been a lot stronger. I think it was very similar in the strength to weight ratio, like 3.1 or something like that. So it's a little stronger. I would have thought it would have been more so but it was a wet mix. And that's something that I definitely preach about a lot. When you make concrete, people have such a strong tendency to over water. Um, and when you're working with concrete as a hobby, you don't necessarily realize that um, the stuff that you're using is probably over watered. And we do it because it's so much easier to work with. It's easier to mix it together. It's easier to place it into your molds. It's easier to consolidate it and get the air bubbles out. Everything is easier, but as it, as it turns out, just because it's easy doesn't mean it's the best thing for longevity. Concrete should be a little bit more on the dry side, ideally to make an optimally hydrated concrete mix. And so I think we've seen a little bit of a mixture of both of these factors. The higher cement ratio maybe wanted to make it stronger, but the higher water content maybe wanted to make it a little bit weaker. And as a result, we ended up more or less where we were with the other one, which is still in and of itself pretty impressive because our control group is at a 3.61 strength to weight ratio. Like, yes, it held 94 pounds of, of weight before it broke under the same conditions here, but it weighs 26 pounds, like more than double what this one weighs. So interesting. Look at that shine on the backside of that one because of the, uh, poured on plastic and it was a wet mix. So we got a really, really nice finish there. Well, I hope you found this at least as interesting as I found it. I think there's actually a lot to be learned from this. And uh, if you're like me, there's, when you find a new subject, something like lightweight concrete, you want to consume all the, the information you can find. And I found that the lightweight concrete was kind of a little bit lacking considering how popular concrete is and how popular lightweight concrete is. I couldn't really find any good comparison videos where it's like, show me the different properties of the concrete or the lightweight concrete mixes so that I can kind of decide which one is right for my application. Because every time you need lightweight concrete, it's basically a unique, unique application. Anyway, very interesting. Stay tuned, and we will be doing more of these, breaking more stuff. My favorite.